Hi, I'm Mr. C, the teacher, and the lessons I've created here are the same ones I use in my classroom on a daily basis. So grab your tools for school and join in with our lessons, or just sit back and watch along with us. Let's do some learning together, because you're watching Lessons from the Classroom. spend the next 15 lessons learning about guided reading and we'll do some guided reading together with some leveled books and that is what we're going to do here in these lessons with guided reading I'm going to teach you how to picture walk and talk about each picture on each page pictures are an important part of reading that's why when kids learn to read they start off with picture storybooks that old expression of picture says a thousand words well there's some truth to it and i can't imagine children starting to learn to read using books with no pictures right those pictures are important a lot can be taken from the meaning in the text by what's shown in the picture and in fact when you think about it as students get to be stronger readers they graduate from those simple picture storybooks to books where there's a lot more text on the page and a little less of what's happening in the picture for what's written in the text. And then eventually kids move into those beginning um, chapter books. And later on when they're older kids, of course, they're reading novels and there's very few pictures as we know in novels. So really beginner readers, picture storybooks are extremely important. Important to be reading to your child from picture storybooks and showing them the pictures and important to start your children reading using picture storybooks, of course, as well. I'm gonna have mom or dad read the story to you so that you can find out if your picture walk was accurate or where there was change. When it comes to learning to read, well, it's important that moms and dads read stories to you every night, but it's also important that you slowly learn how to read. Mom and dad are gonna help you echo read, where they read a sentence first and then you read it back, but you have to be pointing your finger when mom and dad are reading the words and when you read the words. And lastly, you'll get to the stage where you'll try reading independently on your own, but mom and dad are there to help you out and help you correct any mistakes you make or where you get stuck on words. Learning to read often means you have to master that book before you move on to a new book. And that could take eight times, nine times, 10 times, who knows, maybe even 12 or 15 times reading through that book over and over and over again until you can read from the very first word on the first page to the very last word on the last page with no mistakes, no needing help, and your reading pace, the speed that you read at, is about the same pace that you talk at. This day, we are gonna start learning guided reading, and that is one skill where you can actually pick up a picture storybook and start having your child read. You need to be a part of it, of course. You're right there next to your child, and this is a partnership between you and your child learning how to read these picture storybooks, where I will be doing that guided reading with leveled books that you and your child can follow along with. The book is going to be on your screen instead of in your hand, but you can still follow along and learn to read, and hopefully it'll teach you enough that you'll gain the skills to be able to find your own books from the library or at home and do these same guided reading skills. All right, let's take a look at the next book in the series. So this story is a read at home. It's called Picnic Time, level 1B. So we'll start off part one by doing a picture walk. No reading the words, just looking at the picture and describing everything you see. What do you see happening on this page? Now, what's happening here on this page? And on the next 
next page. What's happening in this picture? Now where are they? What are they doing? What's happening here? Now what's happening? Where are the kids now? What are they doing? And what's happening in this page? What's happening here? Now what's happening? And here's our last page. What's happening now? Here are some questions in the book. What happened when Biff gave the duck some bread? Why did the children run away from the animals? Where was the picnic? How do you know? What food would you like to take on a picnic? All right, now we're going to do part two, just to read through with the story. And I've got my little yellow strip here to help us out with picnic time. Picnic time, said Dad. Biff sat on a log. Some sheep came. Run, said Kipper. They sat on a bridge. Some ducks came. Run, said Chip. They sat on a wall. Some donkeys came. Run, said Biff. They sat on a rock. Oh no, the rain came. Okay, now we're going to do stage three, which is to do an echo read. Mr. C reads first, and then you follow along by your turn to read. Mr. C first. Picnic time. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Picnic time, said Dad. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Biff sat on a log. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Some sheep came. Your turn. Remember to look at the words as you hear them being read. Look at the words when you read them. Mr. C's turn. Run, 
said Kipper. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. They sat on a bridge. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Some ducks came. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Run, said Chip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. They sat on a wall. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Some donkeys came. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Run, said Biff. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. They sat on a rock. Your turn. And Mr. C's turn. Oh no! The rain came. Your turn. Excellent job. Now, last stage, phase four, you get to read independently. Title of the story. Use the clues to help you out. Use the clues to help you. Use the clues in the picture. All right, play the last part of that video over again and over again until you manage to get through the whole story, reading it with no mistakes, no calling for help, and you're able to read at the same speed that you would talk. Well done. Thanks for joining me today in our lesson. Hope to see you again soon. I hope you had some fun, worked on some new skills, and maybe learned something new as well.
Join me next time on another episode of Lessons from the Classroom. Bye for now.